Hey guys, welcome to another one of our tutorials using JavaScript in Canvas. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to talk about linear gradients. So let's get started. Now you can see we've got uh, three different rectangles up here. Uh, so let's let's kind of work with those, and you kind of see how this all ties together. If you don't know how to do colors uh, or how to do rectangles, definitely go back and look at some of our previous tutorials and to make sure you have that ready to go, and then you can uh, jump in here when you're ready. If not, let's, let's get going. So the first thing we have to do is we have to create an actual gradient. And we do that by creating a gradient object. So let's start there. I'm going to just create a variable. I'll say variable gradient. Actually, I'll just go GRD for gradient. And we're going to use the uh, method of create linear gradient. You can see here, so we're going to go variable gradient, the, the GRD, that's holding the linear gradient object that we're going to do. And when you do this, the arguments required in this are the starting and ending locations of the gradient. So I'm going to start it, uh, just to kind of show you how this works, I'm going to start it right up here at the top left. So I'm going to start it at 0, 0. And I go down to the bottom right. So the, the four arguments are the x, y of the starting location of the gradient and the x, y of the ending location of the gradient. And so that's going to be on mine. I have a width of 600 on my canvas and a 400 of the height. So we've created the gradient. So all we've done at this point is just have a starting and ending location. Now what we need to do is apply the colors to it. And so we work with the gradient variable that we just created, that object. So gradient object. Uh, and I'm going to add color stops. And so the first one I'll do is the beginning. So 0 will be the beginning of the, the gradient. 1 is the end of the gradient. And I'm just going to add a color. I'll say blue. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do add one more color stop to it. And this time I'm going to do uh, 1, which is the ending location, and I'll do red. All right, so we've created the gradient. The last thing we need to do then is apply the gradient to the fill style. So notice that this, all right here, is working with the gradient object. Now we have that, I'm going to go back and apply the fill style, or apply it to the fill style of the context. So ctx.fillStyle. It's a property, and so I'm going to use the equal sign. And because it's an object and variable, I don't want to use quotes on this one. I'm just going to use GRD, which is the object that we created. All right, so let's see what happens when we do that. So I'll hit Run. And you can see here you, uh, that each rectangle has a little bit different type of gradient in here. And what I'm doing is, like I said, I'm starting right up here at the top left, and it's gradient is going down to the bottom right. So when you apply a fill, or when you apply a gradient, it applies to that location. So wherever that rectangle is, it's going to change based upon here. So what do I want to do if I want to have a gradient that's specific to that rectangle? Well, what I need to do then is I need to apply the gradient so it'll start at this location and end at in that same rectangle if I wanted to. So I'm going to do that instead here to uh, this rectangle, this first one, our first one. So let's work with this one. So I'm going to go uh, variable, I'll create a new gradient, so I'll call this one gradient1 equals ctx dot create linear gradient. And I'm going to start at this location, and I want this one to be a nice vertical gradient. So all the bars are straight up and down. So it'll, it'll go across this way. So this location on this rectangle starts at, looks like at 50, 20. And I just want it to end over here on this, by, on this spot. So it looks like it has a, this rectangle has a width of 300. So that means it will be, go over to 350. And if I want it to be straight up and down, I need to keep my Y value exactly the same. So I'm going to leave it at 20. So that gradient is going to be based upon this line across the top of that rectangle. Okay, so I've got that. And now let's add some color stops to this one. So this is gradient 1.add color stop. And I'll go again. I'm, oops, I'll start at the beginning. 
and I'm going to do, I'll start with blue again. And I'm going to add uh, color stop again. And this time I will do, I'll do red again, just so you can kind of see what the difference is here now. And I'm going to apply the fill style. We're going to set the fill style to gradient one. And now let's see what happens when I run this. So what did I, oh, I got a zero, zero here. Oops, I, I messed up. That should have been one on the red. Let's try that one more time. There you go. So you can see here that this one is starts at blue and goes with red. Again, all of the rectangles afterwards are going to be uh, applied with that one because that's the last fill style being done. So this one, you can see how it has the similar, but it doesn't start at blue. It starts kind of as a shade in a shade of red here. And then this one, because it's past the last stop of it, it's completely red. Okay, so you can see it's still going to apply everything to where it needs to be. So I'm going to apply a different gradient to this one. So let's apply a horizontal gradient. So I'm going to start here at the top and work my way down. So I'm going to do that one right before this rectangle here. <clears throat> so again, let's create a new gradient. So I'll go variable gradient 2. Again, add the new uh, linear gradient. So we'll create linear gradient. And the starting location of this rectangle is 450. That's 400 comma 50, not, not the same one. And it has a height of 300. So I'm going to keep my X the same. I want it to be on the same axis. Okay, the same vertical axis. So I'm going to go keep it at 400. Uh, but it's got a height of 300. So I'm going to go from, it looks like, uh, it looks like from, Oh, I'm working on this one. Actually, I'm sorry, I got the wrong one here. So I'm going from 400, uh, 450. So I'm going to go down 300. So that will be down uh, to 350. I was looking at the wrong rectangle there. So it's this one. Okay, and now let's go add some color stops again to it. So I'll go gradient two dot add color stop. And let's do some different colors this time. So I'll start at zero and I'm going to go green. And <clears throat> it doesn't have to be named colors. It could be hexadecimal if you wanted to. Uh, again, if you're not sure how to do that, or you can always go back and watch one of those other videos we have. And I'll do gradient two dot add color stop. And again, I'm going to show you something a little bit different is that you can actually have more than one or more than two colors in here. So I'm going to go halfway. I'm going to add a new color. And I think I'll do yellow. And then gradient two dot add color stop. <clears throat> and I'll go to red. And I'm going to add the uh, change the fill style at this point. So ctx dot fill style. And this will be equal to gradient two. Let's see what it looks like. So there you go. So you see we've got the first one here. We set that gradient. Now we've got a horizontal with the horizontal bars going across. So we're going from green down to red. Okay. And then you see obviously the last square, last rectangle, it's based upon the exact same one. So let's do one more. This time, uh, like we did at the beginning, we're going to do a diagonal one instead. Okay. So let's go down here. Do a couple of extra enders in there just so you can make sure you can see the screen. And let's go variable gradient three. And again, I'm gonna create that linear gradient. So this one starts at 100 and 150. So I'll do that one. And I want it to be on the diagonal, so I'm gonna have it end down here. And so this rectangle has a width of 200. So that means it'll be 300 there. And it has a height of 150. So that will also will be at 300. And you again, and let's do something again, just to show you a little bit different. It doesn't have to start at zero. So I'm going to start this one uh, a little bit different. Let's go gradient three uh, dot add color stop. And I'm going to start this one at 0.2. I'll go 0.25 just so that it's uh, a quarter of the way in. And I will do, 
think I'll do yellow on this one again. And then I'm going to go to gradient 3, dot add color stop. And I'm going to go to 0.75, so three quarters of the way. I'll go to red. And that's all I'll do. So I'm not going to go from 0 and 1. Let's see what that looks like. So I'm going to go CTX fill style. And we will set that property to be gradient 3, that object. Okay, let's see what that looks like when we hit run. And so what you see is the gradient actually starts a quarter of the way in, and the gradient ends a three quarters of the way into that as well. So it goes from, I don't have to actually go all the way to zero. So in this case, it's going zero, and then it's going yellow, and then at 0.25, it starts to change to red, and it finishes changing red at 0.75. All right, so there we go. Uh, how to do linear gradients, I think really useful, a lot of fun and pretty easy. So have fun with it. Uh, let me know if it's something that you'd like, if you need help with anything, you know, obviously make some comments, or if you do like it, uh, hit that thumbs up, or even better, subscribe, and uh, as we continue to add more to this channel. Thanks guys, have fun.